everybody hello good afternoon and welcome back to our channel info island and also welcoming you guys to our current affairs video for the month of august 2023 where we bring you the latest news from all around the corners of the world so guys recently a lot of things that has happened that made a historic moment be it like chandrayaan 3 or any other thing so it is very much important for all of us to know and aware about these current affairs and in order to update you with the day-to-day -day, um, activities and day-to-day -day events and current affairs that are going on and around us we have brought up this particular video for you guys in order to boost your preparation level for the upcoming examination upcoming be it like if you are preparing for the ssc exam upsc exam the mts exam that is uh, arriving very soon in the month of september so be it any of the examination current affairs are something that are being asked in almost every examination so let's kick start the video okay guys so first up we have rajkot international airport which has been inaugurated recently so in which of the following states it has come up and your options are option a rajasthan option b gujarat option c punjab or is it the option d madhya pradesh so guys the correct answer is option b gujarat and if you have guessed Gujarat is the correct answer then you guys are absolutely correct as it has been inaugurated recently in Gujarat. Recently Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated Rajkot International Airport and various development initiatives amounting to a total of rupees 860 crores in Raj Rajkot, Gujarat. The project's encompass Sauni Yojana Link 3 Package 8 and 9, upgrading of Dwarka Rural Water Supply and Sanitation, Preservation, Renovation and Progress of Uppercote Fort Phase 1 and 2, among several others. Next, we have question number two, which of the following institution has released the guidelines on corporate debt market development fund? Option A, RBI. Option B, SEBI. Option C, Finance Ministry or is it the option D that is BSE? So the correct answer is option B that is SEBI. The Capital Markets Regulator, SEBI, and the expansion of SEBI is Securities and Exchange Board of India, which has released the guidelines for the Corporate Debt Market Development Fund, that is CDMDF in short. The fund's purpose is to serve as a backstop facility, facilitating the purchase of investment-grade corporate debt securities during the times of market stress, market crunch you can also say thereby boosting confidence among participants in the corporate debt market next question question number three which of the following african country has recently witnessed a coup in the year 2023 and your options are option a south africa option b kenya option c niger or is it the option D, Congo? So the correct answer is option C, that is Niger. A coup by a group of soldiers is currently underway in Niger. Soldiers appeared on state TV to announce they had removed the president from power, seized control of the government and suspended the constitution. Recently, the commander of the guard, Jen Abdurrahmane Shiani, has declared himself as the leader of Niger in a televised address. Next up, we have question number four. Which of the following institution releases digital payments index, that is DPI in short, in India? And the options are option A, RBI. Option B, NPCI. Option C, Niti Aayog. Or is it the option D, that is Finance Ministry. 
So the correct answer is option A, that is RBI, Reserve Bank of India. Digital payments across the country registered a growth of a total of 13.24% in a year through March 2023. As per RBI's index that measures the adoption of online transaction. RBI's digital payments index stood at 395.57 at the end of March 2023 as compared to 377.46 in the month of September 2022 and 349.30 that was there in the year 2022 in March 2022. The index is a base to capture the extent of digitalization of payments across the country. Next up, we have question number five. Which of the following country has granted Pakistan a two-year rollover on US dollar 2.4 billion loan? And the options are option A, China, option B, USA, option C, Russia, or is it the option D, Germany? So the correct answer is option A, that is China. China has granted Pakistan a two-year rollover on a 2.4 billion US dollar loan for a period of two years. This move is expected to provide relief to Pakistan, which is facing a severe balance of payments crisis. Its current reserves barely cover two months worth of import bills. Next question, question number six. Which of the following personality has said that the earth has entered an era of global boiling? And the options are option A, US President, option B, UN Secretary General, Option C, WMO chief, or is it the option D, that is IMF chief? So the correct answer is option B, that is United Nations Secretary General. UN Secretary General Antonio Gutters delivered a powerful message on climate change recently, urging immediate radical action, which is needed to address the record-shattering July temperatures. He also mentioned that this phenomenon indicates that the Earth has entered an era of global boiling, which is actually surpassing warming phase. Next up, we have question number seven, that is, which European country has been qualified for the ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024? And the options are option A, Ireland, option B, Greece, option C, Spain, or is it the option D, that is Croatia? So the correct answer is option A, Ireland. Ireland, a rising force in international cricket, has secured its spot in the prestigious ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024. Ireland remained unbeaten throughout the tournament, having registered victories against Italy, Denmark, Austria and Jersey before their clash against Germany resulted in a washout. Next up, we have question number eight. Which of the following institution has launched the 100 microsites project? And the options are option A, NABARD, option B, NITI AYOG, option C, National Health Authority, or is it the option D, that is National Institute of Virology. 
so the correct answer here is option c and any one of who uh, any one of you who have guessed the option c as the correct answer so they are absolutely correct as national health authority is the correct answer the national health authority has introduced the 100 microsites project aiming to expedite the adoption of digital health services nationwide these microsites will consist of small and mid-sized health facilities that will be fully aligned with the Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission Standards. Next, we have question number nine. Which of the following badminton player has clinched the Japan Open 2023 singles men's title? And the options are option A, Kidambi Srikant, option B, Victor Axelson, option C, Lakshya Sen, or is it the option D, that is Chain Long? So the correct answer is option B, that is Victor Axelson. The Danish world number one Victor Axelsen clinched victory in the Japan Open final after defeating Jonathan Christie of Indonesia. In women's singles, world number two and Siong of South Korea beat He Bing Ziao of China to clinch the title. She also replaced Japan's reigning world champion Akane Yamaguchi to bag the world number one spot. So guys, that brings us to the last question of today's current affairs video. And at question number 10, we have conjunctiva is a tissue layer present in which of the following part of the body? And the options are option A, heart. Option B, lungs. Option C, I, or is it the option D, that is muscle? So the correct answer is option C, I. And as you guys are already aware, that uh, conjunctivitis, uh, conjunctivitis is a disease that is commonly known as pink eye, which is caused in the eyes. That is a condition in which uh, which is actually characterized by the inflammation and swelling of the conjunctiva, which is a thin transparent tissue layer that covers the inner surface of the eyelid and the white part of the, uh, of the eye. And this particular disease results into the swelling of the eye and the pink or some reddish coloring of the eye. So the continuous rainfall has led to an increase in instances of conjunctivitis also because at certain times it happens that because of the bacteria and the uh, some of the insects uh, that you know uh, comes out in the rainy season it is uh, uh, very much common to happen conjunctivitis at such places which is also known as pink eye in various regions of the country such as New Delhi, Chandigarh and Gujarat. So guys, that brings us to the end of the video. And uh, now we are going to share some of the abbreviations that we just saw in today's uh, top 10 questions. And guys, as I always tell you that these abbreviations, these acronyms are of key importance with the perspective of your competitive exam. So please do try to learn and memorize them as uh, they might just come across in your examination paper. So at number one, we have RWSS and the full form is Rural Water Supply Sanitation. Number two, it's a CDMDF and the full form is a Corporate Debt Market Development Fund. At number three, we have RBI and the full form is Reserve Bank of India. At number four, we have SEBI and the expansion of SEBI is the Securities and Exchange Board of India. Next at number 5 we have BSE and the full form is Bombay Stock Exchange. 
next is dpi and the full form is digital payments uh, index next is num at number 7 we have uh, npci and the full form is national payments corporation of india and number 8 you know uh, guys uh, recently in the examination of uh, ssc a question was asked that uh, what is the full form of niti in niti ayog so you guys must know that the full form of niti in niti ayog is a national institution for transforming india so guys this is of utmost importance so please uh, do learn it at number 9 us uh, you guys already know it's a united states next at number 10 we have un united nations next at number 11 we have wmo and the full form is world meteorological organization next at number 12 we have imf and the full form is international monetary fund next at number 13 we have icc and the expansion stands at international cricket council Next at number fourteen we have NABARD and the full form is National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. Next at number fifteen we have NHA and the full form is National Health Authority. And the last abbreviation for today it's NIV and the full form is National Institute of Virology. So guys, that uh, so guys, that's it. Uh, that brings us to the end of today's segment of uh, current affairs video that we brought up for you guys in order to help you in your daily preparation for the month of August 2023. These were some of those top 10 questions that happened in this month currently. So guys, do prepare them for your uh, examination. Stay tuned with us for more such updates in the future, and don't forget to keep yourself updated for the latest news. and events that happens almost every day every minute every hour so that's it thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching and i will see you in our next video